Welcome to part one of the November 2008 past uh, paper. Um, so what we are going to do is upload as many past papers as I can, instructions that you will need to follow. Now, um, you will find these um, files on Moodle. If not, click on the link in the description, which will take you to the files that you're going to need. Um, I do believe these files are from ICT Lounge. So. Right, what we're going to look at now is emailing. Now, I doubt email was going to come up in the 2016 exam because you um, don't have access to the internet. So, um, but just in case it does, obviously we're going to follow this through and you will be using your school email to do this. So the first part of the question says, you work for a company called Hot House Design. You are going to perform some clerical tasks for the company. Now, I do strongly suggest that you read through every single question first before you attempt it. So read through question one and see what it wants before you actually attempt it. So prepare an email message to be sent to design.h at cie.org.uk, which contains the subject line November 2008. So that's the subject line. The body of the text, this is the email that you're going to type out, will include your name, your candidate number, your um, centre number, and the text saying, please send instructions that I need. And then you will send the message, and you should receive a message to reply to. Um, at that point of the video, I'm going to pause it. Um, I cannot let you see the contents of my email box because it's all strictly confidential. I cannot show you how to log into uh, my email account, obviously, because it's confidential. But you will need to log into your student account and you will need to select new for a new email. So I'm going to open up the email now, okay, which is here. So I've already got this open. As I said, apologies, my email box is highly confidential, so you cannot see the contents. So, first of all, I need the um, address, which is here, which says um, design.h at cie.org. So, um, cannot um, copy and paste that. So, here we are. So, design.h at cie.org.uk. <coughs> so, here we are. Now, it says the subject line, this is subject line is November 2008 and your name, so obviously you will type your name as it appears in the exam. As I said, don't type any silly nicknames or any silliness like that. I know it sounds obvious but you'll be amazed at the people that do it. So I don't want to see your name, your first name for example and then you put a nickname in inverted commas and your surname it's your exam please be sensible so candidate number i just make mine up obviously you will have yours and center number which is the school's number and then the body of the text is please send the instructions I need. Okay, so I'm just going to double check that. Uh, here we are. Right, so it says design.hcie contains the note, yep, subject line November 2008. So I've got my name, my candidate number, uh, my sense number, and please send the instructions that I need. So I will send the message and I should receive the instructions that I need. Okay, so I'm going to send this message and pause the video now. Okay, because as I said, I'm not allowed um, to show you the contents of my inbox. Okay, apologies. Right, the um, email doesn't send, which I, I kind of guessed it wouldn't, but um, you would be expected to reply. So you would reply to um, Design House, you would copy in um, info and blind copy sales dot ICTT um, I -C -T -T, and subject line would be annual report and your message text would be your name and you would have to attach the file that you require. Okay. Okay, so if you were to reply to the email, then you would um, put in the to section here and then the copy section would be here. Okay. So um, 
obviously, as I said, I cannot um, show you um, the position, uh, basically, um, how to do it really because of confidentiality. But if you wanted to attach an email, um, to email, you go to the attach here. Um, if it doesn't say attach, you'll always find this little paperclip sim symbol. So, what you would do in those cases would you would um, go to your area, okay, so where you would uh, save your work. So mine in this case is my personal computer. I would go to my documents, and I'd go to my exam file, and then say for example if this was the um, paper that I wanted to attach, okay, you would go to open, and you should see it attach here, okay. So you always find somewhere where it will be attaching. And as I said, you put your name, your candidate number in, and then you would simply push send and send the email. Okay, so that's that first part of the exam done there. Like I said, sorry I couldn't show you any more, um, but this is a past exam paper, so that may not happen. Okay, right, um, so please click on part two. So we're going to, I think, move on to, I believe, databases.